Well, today I'm standing outside Café Fish, a restaurant noted for its fresh fish and seafood. We're going to go inside in a moment and have a chat with the owner, William Bell, and also his two award-winning chefs, David and Kirill. You know, as soon as you walk into this place, the first thing that you get is that wonderful aroma of fresh fish and seafood. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's see what's going on. Well, now I'm sitting in Cafe Fish with the owner, William Bell. Hello, William. Nice Hello. to see you. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Now then, uh, how long have you actually been here at Cafe Fish? Gosh, you know, this will be um, this will be our thirteenth season. Really? Mm, yeah, we came in uh, two, 1999 and we opened uh, Easter 2000. Oh. Yes, and do you have what you might term a, a house speciality here? Well, it's the same. It basically, cafe fish is the same as it was 13 years ago. By the fact that we go to the local fishermen um, and we buy what they catch. And we try, we try and source all our speciality fishes from all our speciality dishes from Scarborough. Yeah. So it's all about um, supporting the fishermen, and lobsters, and the what's landed in Scarborough Harbour. That's very important to us. Mm. Other fish that we can't source from Scarborough, we get from uh, from um, in Newcastle, uh, North Shields market. So between North Shields and Scarborough. But it keeps us supplied and it's good. That sounds good. Uh, good. I understand over the last few years you've won quite a number of awards. Perhaps you'd like to tell us a little about that. I think 2008 was one of my proudest moments when uh, we were invited to into the Yorkshire Chef of the Year. Oh yeah. yeah. And that was held in Leeds at uh, Harvey Nichols. And, um, we went there and we sweeped the board and we got Yorkshire Chef of the Year. That was Excellent. Yeah. And then we had to go to Harrogate to the uh, to the National Ground uh, to, to the presentation. And it was, oh, that was quite that was quite emotional. That was quite good. And then of course this year did it all, didn't it? Because yeah. this year was uh, 2013 was the, the year of all years because they got um, gold, they got silver. They got first in hygiene twice, and they got um, best um, best effort of the day or something, best, best of the day. So we came back with the plates, we came back with the silver and the gold medal, mm -hmm. came back with the uh, hygiene medals and everything. It was um, brilliant. Well, here we are now with David and Kirill. Hello to both of you. Hello. Hello. And uh, we'll start with you, Kirill. Um, I understand that earlier this year you won a very prestigious award. Um, so perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, in January 21st, we went to Birmingham in the cookery competition mm -hmm. and I won the Sustainable Fish Dish Award, which was the last competition of the day. Right. And uh, I got silver for that one, which I'm really proud of. Excellent. And uh, I think there's a lot of effort put it into that dish, a lot of effort from David, mm -hmm. who actually advised me on how to do things. And I think if he and Will wouldn't advise me, I wouldn't achieve that. And what type of fish were you using? Well, we used a sustainable fish, which is dab. There was a selection of dab, migrim, or gurnet. Mm -hmm. I picked up dab, it's a flat family fish. I stuffed it with bits of lobster and crayfish and served it with the lobster biscuit and that's how I want it. Sounds absolutely superb. Anyway, very well done to you. Uh, and then you, David, you also won a, an award at around about the same time, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, I was first on and they like, um, uh, my competition was the uh, classical fish dish. Um, yes, yeah, so, yeah, I've got class win. Uh, we both got uh, first for hygiene. Um, Really, really proud of ourselves. Really, to be honest, you know, a little old, yeah. little, little, little old scarver, you know, taking uh, these awards from all the top boys. So yeah, I'm really pleased. Excellent. 
Well, in a few minutes, then, we'll go into the kitchen and we'll see what sort of things you've been doing. Yeah, we've got a bit to crack on with tonight, so we'll, we'll talk you through it, don't worry. Excellent. Right. Well, thank you very much to both. Thank you, thank and you. Con and congratulations to both. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, here we are now in the kitchen of Café Fish, and David uh, is looking extremely busy over a vast array of pots and pans. Perhaps you'd like to tell us a bit about what you're doing then, David? Yeah, I'll tell you what we're doing here. Um, we've got a very popular dish that's on our menu. Um, it's called uh, uh, seafood chowder. Um, basically what it is, is um, I've done like a mirepoix veg, um, as you can point out for the camera there. Um, and what we've done is, uh, just rather than a, a normal mirepoix, we add um, fennel, uh, we add uh, potatoes. The whole reason why we put the potatoes in is for the starch. It's uh, when the starch releases from the potato, it's a natural thickening agent, so you don't have to, uh, you know, mess about making it heavy with roux. So it's just a natural, you know, thickening from a root vegetable. So uh, I've sweated that down. Um, what I'm going to do here. Just add a large glass and a half of white wine to that mix there. Just give it a little stir. What I'll do is um, reduce that by half, um, and then what we do is we use uh, all the different types of fish um, that we get from the fish market, um, such as you know like gurnards, um, whatever basically the fishermen can't sell, you know. Um, to the public, we'll we'll put everything into here, um, cook it through, and then we make a fish cream. Add that, um, and then we we'll just finish it off with dill, and that'll be served for the customers. Um, for seafood chowder. It sounds excellent. Right, do you want to charge? Yeah, what I'm going to demonstrate here is the that pork pits I cooked on the competition. What we we'll require for that is a couple of fillets of dabs. I got plenty of them down here. So two of those, bits of cheddar cheese, bits of prawns or crayfish, a lobster meat, which I got down here, and just a tiny bit of mash to bring it all together when we're gonna do the mixture. So I'll pick up a bit of mash here. Put all them king prawns in. Chop that lobster meat up, just roughly, so it would be some chunks in there. Stuffing and a tiny bit of fish seasoning. Give it a good mix, so the consistency will be even. There we go. A couple leaves of spinach on the fish. A bit of mixture. And we just roll it like that. So that's ready to go for the oven. That looks fantastic, that does. 